Yo, let's get to it. Real 92.3 LA's new home for hip hop crew show. We're in here, and this is Esteban Oreo, our guy. Esteban, what's up, bro? How you doing, brother? Hey, dog, we're doing well. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Of course. You're responsible for for so much, for capturing the culture for so many years. We were just talking about this off the air. Over 30 years, and over 30 years plus mm -hmm. of you capturing uh, the culture here in Los Angeles and really showing the world what we look like, what we sound like, what it feels like. You feel me? You're responsible for the original LA the uh, the LA signs or LA fingers, I guess, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and so much more from Hollywood to the hood, dog. You've taken every picture. <laughs> yeah. What a career! Congratulations, man. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's been a it's been a fun one. You know, been a great uh, journey. I've been around the world a couple of times. Yeah. You know, with the House of Pain and Cypress Hill, and then. From that, I set myself up as a photographer to be able to keep traveling because what was a trip for me is when I got off tour in 2005, like the guys were like, hey, we're going to take a break. You know, we've been going hard since 92. Mm -hmm. Let's kick back and take a break and, you know, and um, like reset. And I was like, well, that's cool because, you know, they get money from uh, – you know, every time the song plays. Yeah, but yeah, record sales. If, and stuff yeah, like if we're not on tour, then I don't get nothing. So I was like, what can I do while this break is going on? And I was like, well, I know how to do construction. I don't really want to do that no more. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know how to work the door at clubs. I don't know want to do that no more. Yeah. And then uh, I knew how to do photography and filming. So I just jumped into that, you know, head first and because of traveling all those places i made some connections here and there and yeah a few connections right was, yeah, yeah maybe one or two <laughs> if you have half a brain you know you, you try to do stuff like that so um i was able to go back just as a photographer to these places and you know have art shows and yeah, it was, man. it's been a it's been a fun one Man, let me plug, man. Hip Hop Till Infinity. It's an immersive tribute to 50 years of hip hop, featuring all five pillars of hip hop graffiti, breaking, MCing, DJing, knowledge. 6400 Sunset Boulevard, Los Angeles. What a great location on Sunset as well, right? Yeah, the old Amoeba. Yes, you sir. Know, rest mm -hmm. in peace to, to that building. For, yeah. You know, like, I don't know, man. I've been in that old Amoeba so many times. I haven't been in the new one yet. Where is it at? Where's it's the new it's one? It's on uh, the Hollywood. Over, it's a few blocks down. Um, yeah. It's by. Uh, it's it's a, no. Yeah, it's, ah. it's uh, one block east of Vine on Hollywood. Man, did they gentrify? Is there a Starbucks inside of it now? Or what? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Okay, good. Thank God. No, no, thank yeah. God. Keep it pure, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep it pure. The Nipsey stars right outside. Man. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. And yeah. Big Boys, big boys is outside. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And then yeah. uh, Cypress is across the street. You know, you've been in, obviously, you've shot, like, every part of L.A. Like, does it kind of make you feel sad when you go back to certain places that you've shot and you were just kind of, you're like, it just looks so different or now? Or it's not the same. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, it kind of bums me out. But, uh, you know, I try not to get stuck in the past, yeah. even though I'm halfway. You know, mm -hmm. I got one foot in the past and one <laughs> foot, you know, For sure. in the future. But uh, I really love the old stuff, you know, and, like... Um, if I'm ever at the pad by myself, I just start going through photos and tripping out on all the old stuff and the way stuff used to look and how it used to be. And it's fun for me, you know, to sure, yeah. to go through those old archives. But um, brings back memories, I'm sure. I do like to shoot a lot of places that I think could be taken away from us. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like different little food spots or. I don't know if you ever went to that uh, Tale of Pup, I think it was called, the hot dog place on uh, San Vicente in Beverly. Mm -mm. It was like shaped like a hot dog back in the like 70s, the 80s, The whole building 90s. was. Yeah, it was just like a little... Oh, I think I've seen that. They, I think they I've moved seen it, it on to, YouTube. Uh, they, they, somehow they found the original one. They moved it back to, I think, yeah. uh, La Cienega and Santa Monica. But... Um, you know, there's just all these like old school places that I always went to. Like there was an Oki Dog on uh, Santa Monica and Vista. Mm -hmm. Now it's a fat burger. Oh yeah, things have changed. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. At least it's a fat burger, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> some like uh, yeah. vegan donut shop yeah. or some shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's a place we used to go to after the clubs. Like the punk scene was real big back then yes, in the sir. in the '80s, and that's where everybody used to go and eat yeah. and fight and you know it's good old times there with all of your footage and your archives as deep as it is right do you have stuff that you can never put out 
because it may oh, be yeah. used as evidence some some. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're yeah. like, that's all I'm gonna say yeah. on yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Right, like there's no way you could put it out because it yeah. would put some people in some yeah, weird people positions. People that are like, you know, uh, nervous probably every day. You know, like, oh, I hope that don't get out. I hope that don't get out. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> but I'm one of those guys, you know, I take it to the grave, you know? Yes, Everything, sir. Like, That's loyal. So you're loyal. okay with signing an NDA is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I have no problem signing NDAs, you know, like That's uh, right. I do that all the time. But, um, I, you know, it's uh, to me it's like a respect thing, you know? It's like Absolutely. If, just because they were cool enough to do whatever they were doing while I had the camera and mm. I was able to shoot that shot doesn't mean... I have the right to put it out there and put them on blast, you know? For sure, for sure. And Just off they don't light. even ask. Mm-hmm. They don't even say, like, hey, homie, can you not put that out or this or that? And I'm like, that's just not coming out, you know? The only reason I have it is because there's something else on that roll of film that I can that you use. can use, sure, yeah. Yeah, but even if um, somebody's like, hey, can you, do you have a picture of this one thing and that's on a picture with something that's not, you know, not so good for somebody? I'll do that one myself. You know, I don't even give that to my assistant and be like, hey, homie, uh, pretend sure, like yeah. you didn't see this or something. Right, you know? like, right, 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 right. none right. of that. Yeah. Mm. You know, I, I I put everything that's, you know, like that, I have it in a safe place. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Have Have the homies ever asked you to like, to like shoot their daughter's quinceanera or, or anything like that? Yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah. Have you? Um, I don't know if I shot... I didn't shoot the whole thing, mm-hmm. but I took my camera and I took a picture of them with their daughter. Oh, that's great. You know, that's like, awesome. uh, that's legendary. Something like that. You know, I'm not, I, I'd done weddings before, but thank God that they weren't traditional weddings. They were like more like gangster weddings and <laughs> it was more like yes, go sir. with the flow. Like, yeah, I don't want to yeah. be, hey, can you get a shot of my tío and my my cousin from <laughs> Texas? And can you get a shot of, you know, like, I don't want to go through all that. No, 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 no. Bridezillas and the, the <laughs> right, right, mother-in-laws. Right. Like, I don't want to deal with none of that. So I don't do no family yeah. photo you events. You just capture moments mm. I do Specific portraits moments. and, portraits, and yeah. I, I document different types of culture. Yes, sir. Speaking of culture, uh, graffiti, that's one of the pillars of hip-hop. Yes. All Have day. you had the chance to visit or take pictures of that sky rise in downtown that's now become a mural of graffiti? I took pictures of that building on Tuesday. Is that right? Wow. Ah. Yeah, after I, I had somewhere to go at 12, 12 o'clock. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, that's right, that's right. Uh, after that, I was going. I went down there. Oh, For, that's what that was the plan. Yeah, hell oh, yeah. Damn. I gotta, wild, I gotta do that, you know. Did, yeah. it, did, 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 did seeing all that art <laughs> provoke anything? Was it like a <laughs> sense of representation, but yet rebellion at the same time? Yeah, it, it, it's all that, but at the same time, I love it. You know, I had some guys go on my on my page. You know, I was I I reposted that I said something about that building, like yeah. that it was art. And some guy was like, "Yeah, you should grow up, man, and and uh, you should try to be in the Senate. You know, get a, educate yourself and be in the Senate." I'm like, "What was your response you, to that?" Nothing. <laughs> Just uh, kept it pushing. But you know, I, my what I you know, like, why don't you do that? Sure, you know, yeah. Why don't you go to study and you get your seat in the Senate. And let me be the guy who hasn't grown up yet and likes that stuff. Right, right, you right. Know, There's like, room for all of us. Yeah, I don't care <laughs> anything what you do. Like, yeah, why yeah. are you tripping on me? Like, yeah. If Here's I the thing, like, it's not my turn to give a fuck. It's right. your turn, obviously, because it's your idea, so yeah. go give it a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, I just want to enjoy shit, and, and that to me, like, I enjoy looking at it. I like looking at that. Yeah. I like thinking about... The people that went up there and did it, like, you know, it's ballsy. You know, yeah. like some of those videos, like the wind's blowing and <laughs> like the doors are blowing and slamming open and shut. And these guys are out there holding on to shit with one hand and one hand Bro. with a graffiti can. Yeah. The rain and everything. I'm like, damn, man. It's badass. That, yeah. It's crazy. Like I it's tri- culture. It's I LA culture. It's graffiti culture. Right. They did it in Miami and everybody was clapping and cheering and patting everybody on the back. But... They do it here in, in L.A. and it's like the, uh, you know, big old crime. And Yeah. Why yeah. do you think that is? What's the difference? Um, they're not as open minded and, and like free thinking over here. They, they Is it because of the history that L.A. has? Like we know better or we should know better? 
I mean, no better what. Like uh, people just want to go out and do their thing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like it's something new. I've seen photos from the '60s and '70s yeah, where walls were just blasted up with graffiti. So it's like it's nothing new, you know. Yeah, and, man. And uh, these guys are. I thought there's some pretty cool stuff, and the new stuff they've been doing lately. The past couple, the past couple days where they've been doing like multiple floors like one crew yeah that was that's crazy bro. i was like that's so sick bro. like look at the like how they line up the letters and everything like you're on one floor and you go to, oh shit <laughs> <laughs> i got excited <laughs> yeah, you go from one floor to the next yeah and the lines are perfectly Perfect. lined up lined. how do they like, do that's like they planned it it's sick it's crazy bro. yeah and i love it i think yeah. it's cool like if if it's such a problem, then do something with it. You know, go yeah. go clean, go do finish the building. Like yeah. sitting there. You all know, of a sudden, nobody, n everybody has a problem with it because it has some graffiti. Well, you know on who's it. behind it? One of the guys behind it is Councilman Weissart. Yeah, the who's Spanish currently guy. locked up right yeah. now. He's doing like thirteen years. Yeah, <laughs> the only councilman that fucked with the crucial, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> he's locked up now. That is, yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do, dog? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Earlier, you were talking, you know, about the places that you would visit, the streets and everything. What do you feel like you know more about LA freeways or streets? Um, I'd say all of it, cause and the crazy thing too is like. Some people I, that I know throughout the years are just confined to their own area, their own yeah. neighborhood, and that trips me out, you know, because I've been to so many parts of the city, and I, I love it, you know. Yeah. Like, I have, um, my truck is probably four or five years old, and I have 150,000 miles of it oh, just cool. in L.A., like, I don't yeah. go to across the country or nothing. Like Just driving around the city. Just driving around the city, like, everywhere, and uh you know i know that they're the the you know people out there are probably pissed off because i'm i'm using gas i got the <laughs> v8 truck but you, you need know, a tesla bro <laughs> yeah yeah i just don't want to do, like that one movie where they they uh, oh, the just started end. running into each other yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. what was it what called movie is that? what movie is that uh, the one with julia roberts yeah and, uh, something about Christmas. the end of the world or yeah, yeah like, i don't want my car to just drive <laughs> into a bunch of other Teslas and smash me up in there. That's right. That's right. Crazy What's your favorite though. part of Hip Hop Till Infinity? Um, my room. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it should be. Keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, that you know, these type of shows they're they're stressful if you're the one who's who's putting your stuff in there. You yeah. know, like um, to me, I could have filled up the whole building with all my stuff that's in my garages. You know, some people see it, they think I'm a hoarder, but some people see it and they think I'm a collector. Collector, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, I could have easily filled up the whole place with different stuff. And um, they have some really good pictures of the, you know, hip hop photography from the Morrison Gallery. Then it goes into uh, the Snoop Dogg room. And it's like a. Uh, interaction place that's the cover art from the doggy style album cover yeah and then uh, you go into the other room and that's um like the they, they have a uh los angeles sign with graffiti on it mm -hmm. that looks oh pretty yeah cool. the the freeway the streets, sign yeah, yeah the yeah, freeway yeah. sign yeah you know it's part of the culture i yes, think sir. this shit looks badass <laughs> <laughs> and then you go into the other room where the the death row chair is and all the the music production yep. you can take a picture on the death row chair yep and then they have uh, all the music production equipment in mm -hmm. those other cases the marathon exhibit as well for for uh, lit, uh nip yep that's all in that room and yeah. then you go into my room and that has uh they asked me like what hip-hop meant to me and and mm. you know for me i put as the hip-hop part um some memorabilia that I've had from Cypress Hill and House of Pain. Yep. And then uh, to me, you know, low writing is real important here in, in our hip hop and mm -hmm. the gangster element. So I put uh, one wall has uh, all my low writing, mem not all, but parts of my low writing memorabilia. And the other wall is like a gangster wall. Mm -hmm. And on that wall, I put um, some paños and envelopes that were sent to me from my homies that were busted. And then uh, there's a bunch of Teen Angel magazines wow. that I feel wow. like is yeah, only yeah. a Cali thing. Legendary. Like you can't uh, really explain that magazine to 
people that aren't from California no, or don't no. know that it's culture. Like a, it's like a you had to be there moment, you know? Yeah. yeah and, and people, they say like, well, what's in it? And I'm like, ah, it's, it's not even worth explaining to you. <laughs> yeah, it's not worth explaining. Yeah, you won't get it anyways. <laughs> right, 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 right. You just had to be there, dog. Yeah, but... I remember, you know, buying those in the '90s at the, you know, the little magazine stands, and yeah, man. you know, I, I used to look forward to that, going to the newspaper stand and like flipping through the pages and all that, and that, yeah, that was like a cool thing back in the day, kind of like, like Tower Records, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Tower Records. Like remember it, that? Yeah, you could go to a date night at Tower Records you know, <laughs> and, just, and just look through the, yeah, look through the tapes and vinyls and, yeah. then, and then CDs and shit, magazines, the magazines, and then books, and everything. Yeah, yeah. man. Oh. Mm-hmm. But um. Yeah, so I I brought all those different elements to the show, and then they had my photos um, on projection, you know, yeah. from floor to ceiling. So that was that was a really cool thing for me to you know sure, be a yeah. part of. And um, and then the the other room is the uh, it's like a three sixty projection room, which is I think that room on that photo there, yep. and uh, that that thing's amazing. I think we're gonna me and uh, the guys from Fools Gone Wild. We're gonna try and um, do a screening of this little documentary that we did, like three different characters mm-hmm. from uh, mm-hmm. his page. Yeah, we're gonna try and do a screening there in the next couple of weeks. Dope. That's crazy. So, That's great. Yeah, we gotta get you guys down there. Yeah, man, yeah. we're down, Good. man. Yeah. And you mentioned Fools Gone Wild. You know, they started as a social media page, but became so important to the culture. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy, right, man? And, and, and salute to them. Yeah, and, and the guys that run it, they're like, um, they're real community driven. You know, they sure. they help a lot of people, and uh, you know, so there's a lot of like haters on there. They call them the net bangers, but <laughs> those dudes do a lot more than yeah. all those guys put together. Do yeah. for the community, you know. So oh, yeah. I feel like as 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 much as they feed to social media, like the content, yeah, they're not for social media. They're for yeah, they got a purpose, you know, and they understand that creating a buzz, visibility on the internet, could be used for a greater good. Yeah, yeah. you know, and they, for for and the culture, not the yeah. clout. Yeah, they you know? they do all that, and that's the coolest thing. You know, people are like, "Hey, what do you think they're, you know, with the with the culture and stuff?" I go, "Man, that's that's there, you know." Yeah. And, and he's not doing it, he's getting that stuff sent in by him by people in the culture daily. Like people send hundreds of things daily, and he just reposts it, you know. Yeah. But he adds his, you know, comedy to it, and that shit's funny. funny it's enough, so bro, it's yeah. so funny Sock that, check all that yeah, it's so funny that he put a thing at the comedy store. Just said, hey, uh, little mystery, you know, surprise com- comedian night, yeah. and it's sold out. Mm-hmm. There's other nights there that don't sell out with names on them. Yeah, and here he goes and with no names and sells it out. <laughs> yeah. So there's obviously, something there, there's something to be said about that, right? If you could do that, and and we we did a show at the YouTube Theater, mm-hmm. he mm-hmm. sold out that, and yeah, man, that was you know. All those things are, they're fun to do, you know. They're just ideas that you come out in your head and you write them down on a piece of paper and then mm-hmm. you see it and the end result and you're like, damn, man, it's that crazy. was badass, yeah, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah. With a journey like yours, you you have to bring everyone with you. Yeah. Everyone is on that journey with you, right? Yeah. And it becomes like a, it becomes almost like a family, it's family business. Yeah. Almost, right? Yeah, and then, you know, there's a lot of people that come and go, you know, like yeah. a lot of friends that... They get they want to get on the bandwagon and then there's work involved and then they get off the bandwagon. Mm. You know? yeah. so <laughs> they, they just think like, oh man, if I roll with this dude, I'm gonna be with Snoop one day, Dre the next day, Eminem the next day. I'm gonna be you know in all these cool places and but it's not like that, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. like it's far and few between. But the majority of it is hard work on the back end, you know. For sure. Like for people sure. think. That I'm just out here sitting on a red carpet or in a hotel smoking nah, nah, weed a with all the biggest <laughs> rap guys, or I'm hanging out on a movie set with some celebrities, but that's rare, you know. Mm-hmm. The rest of it is real work, real, you know. I'm not a uh, out there doing a lot of manual labor, but you know, I am doing the Joker clothes, the Stevanorio clothing. You know, I'm in the warehouse, you know, moving boxes around. 
going to pick up blanks at Pro Club, taking them to the screen printer, dropping yeah, them yeah. off. You know, you're still doing the work. Though. That's that groundwork, man. Yeah. And so, you know, nothing's changed, but uh, I do have a couple of things under my belt now, and, yeah, and a couple of my, of my projects are have been seen. So for sure. But the 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 groundwork is still going. Yeah, it doesn't stop. Dog. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's inspiring stuff. For yeah. sure. What's up, Leche? At what moment if, in your career did you feel proud of yourself? Um, because you seem like a person that's just locked in. You, you yeah. you're trying to just keep going. Keep going. You know. Yeah, I, I guess I get proud of myself after I see the project um, and people, like people's reaction to the yeah. projects. Like if I have an art show and I like some pictures are up on a wall and I see people's reaction to them, like either they're laughing or they're like crying. You know, I've had people cry when they see my photos and, and like that's kind of, and, I, and I would just say like, Hey, you okay? You know, I didn't know what was wrong with them. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah, this picture just reminds me of this, that, and the other, my, my, my family, my life. And I was like, Oh, okay. That's cool. You know, that's dope. Mm. I didn't know what they were crying about, you know, like, but uh, <laughs> right, right. it was ended up being the photo, which was, was cool. You know, it's a yeah, cool man. feeling yeah. that you, your artwork sparks emotions in people, you know, 100% yeah. and inspires yeah. generations to come. So that's kind of when I notice it. But after that, I'm driving home. I forget all about it. I'm on to the next one, you know? Yeah, like, I know, right? It's tough to to stop and, and, yeah. and think about what you're doing when you're just after so much. Yeah, this this I was on a, a call today, a Zoom, and they're like, okay, everybody go around, you know, on the Zoom, everybody go around and introduce yourself and what you do. And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> what I do, like, what do you want me to do? Like, what, what part of what I do, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So like, just Where do I us, start, bro? Yeah, just give us an update. And I just go to 92. I go, you know, I was doing construction, working the clubs. Yeah. And then I got, you know, I met up with Muggs in 89. And, uh, you know, he put me on to a job with House of Pain in 92. Mm. And, you know, I just go that route. And, yes, sir. You know, 92, 205, I, 2005, I was tour managing. Then I picked up a camera in between that. And, that led me into photography and directing. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, uh, you know, you try to hit the key points, you know, so that you don't drag it out and make it a big old deal, yeah. you know. But um, after I hear myself saying the things, I'm like, damn, that's pretty cool, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because there's so yeah. much in between that you just, yeah, like, it like, would be hours and hours yeah i don't want to bore nobody <laughs> and, be, and be like oh man listen to this guy he's all over himself you know? <laughs> we keep it humble we keep it yeah, humble. yeah. <laughs> with all of your accolades and and all the things you've done and accomplished what keeps you going like you know what i'm saying like just to have that drive to do photography to just oh, um one general. of the main things is bills <laughs> yeah. yeah bills will keep you, know you moving I mean? yeah <laughs> I don't have a 401k or a, or a retirement program set up for me. And, and uh, I just go, you know, like I'm going job to job, project to project, and um, try to put a little aside, you know, when it comes like that. And that holds me over to the, you know, when yeah. there isn't those things just rolling in like that. Cause yeah, man. The trip is like people are like, oh, yeah, we wanted to hire you for this big job. And. But we thought you were like bit too busy, you know. I'm like, well, you could have hit me up and asked me, you know, because mm -hmm. a matter of fact, I wasn't. Right, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm free. What's up? Yeah, like, let's for the do money, this. I'm free. Yeah, yeah, I'm free, but it costs. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and you know, I'm I'm my own boss, so I could you know right. switch things around, you know. Yes, sir. So uh, that always trips me out when people are like, yeah, we wanted to get you a thing, but we know you're busy. I'm like. That's man, crazy. Like, Ask me first, man. Yeah, like mm -hmm. shout yeah. out your booking info right now, dog. Yeah, Let's yeah. <laughs> Let people know, man. In a few words, right? Describe your relationship with cartoon. Uh, that you know, been a twenty-five year, you know, uh, friendship and and business relationship, and we did a lot of things. You know, did a, uh, a, lot, of a lot of companies, a lot of projects. Uh, you know, opened the doors for a few people here and there it helped a lot of people whether it was in the industry or not in the industry mm -hmm. you know we did a lot of uh, outreach programs for uh, at-risk youth or um, like homeless or addicted people and we also 
at the same time where we were helping out the the like the kids that were at risk mm-hmm. and never would get a shot at something that or felt like they couldn't we were trying to you know show them hey you could do this too uh we would also hit up the art schools like the the guys that were at the top of their class and be like you know the, let's see what you got and and yeah. you, you know you, this is where you guys are headed mm-hmm. so you know you ever all the hard work that you guys been putting in it's going to pay off like quick so you know after you get out of school right here you know get ready to come in the the workforce mm-hmm. and i'm ready for you so you you know we're we're gonna be have some friendly competition. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. You got gold teeth. Yeah, I had a. Let me see. They get a you know after a few years they get a little bit old and they start chipping. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, like yeah, yeah. In your front, if you start eating like you know corn nuts or whatever, then just like a little chip comes, and then you go eat something else, another chip, and you're like, yeah. oh man, it just is like I started looking like I had a, a gap in the front of my teeth. And I was like, I'm just gonna end this before it gets ugly. You know? <laughs> right, right, right. Look like I'm, a, I'm gonna do something about it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah Looks yes, like sir. a tweak or something. <laughs> so I was like, like, yo, bro, have you seen a step on lately, dog? Yeah, I'm check on the homie, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's losing all his teeth. You know? <laughs> so I just capped it off, and instead of buying some more parts for my low rider, I bought, bought some for my That's my right. face. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I respect Esteban. that. Hip Hop Till Infinity tickets are available now at hiphoptillinfinity.com. We appreciate the time and energy, bro, and of course the art and the pictures and everything else. Thank you very much, man. Man, thank you guys for having us, and everybody needs to check that out. It's a whole, I've done, you know, it's 50, important, bro. I've done at least 50 exhibits, you know, big exhibits yeah. around the world, and, and this one was special for me, you know, something different and. It's cool, man. Yeah, I, man. I and think it's LA. Yeah. In it's, LA, for LA, by LA, bro. Right, exactly. Yes, sir. I should write lyrics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? It'd be crazy. <laughs> Stevan, thank you, bro. We appreciate thank it, you man. Guys. Crew Show, Real 92.3. Yo, check out more of our YouTube interviews now. ASAP Plus, down the free iHeartRadio app so you can check out the Crew Show podcast.